Good morning students, I'm Madame Belinda Omaro. I'm going to take you through an English lesson. So we are going to look at uh, oral skills and we're going to focus on telephone etiquette. So under telephone etiquette, we look at introduction, just a brief introduction, a background information. Then we have the definition, we look at how to receive a call, how to make a call, and then at the end I'll give you a task to attempt. Uh, generally, when you're making a call, there are two persons involved. There is the receiver and there is the caller. And since these people cannot see each other, you will solely be judged from what you can say and how you say it. Thus, one needs to give a good impression from the start. You can accomplish this by the way you greet your caller, your tone of voice, your choice of words, your listening skills, and how you end that call. Now, for us to understand what telephone, telephone etiquette is, we need first to understand the meaning of etiquette. Etiquette is the customer record of polite behavior in our society or among members of a particular profession or group. Telephone etiquette, therefore, is the way we use manners to represent ourselves and our businesses to customers and friends via telephone communication. In telephone conversation, as we have said, we have the caller, that is the person that makes the call or wants to pass a message, and we have the receiver. That is the person who receives the call on the other end. Both the caller and the receiver should strive to observe telephone etiquette in order to make the conversation successful and effective. Now, as a caller, you should observe the following. First, make that call. Greet the person on the other end of the line. For instance, you could say, hello, Good morning, good afternoon. Immediately identify yourself. Good morning. My name is so and so. This is. Now, when you're identifying yourself, please avoid titles. This is to avoid intimidation or intimidating the person at the end of that call. State your business or purpose for calling. For example, I would like to speak to the principal. May I speak uh, to the human resource manager? Now, as you state your purpose, it is important to note that in an organization or an institution, most calls are received by the secretary who connects you to whom you want to speak to. And if the person you want is out, leave a message. But if the message is personal or confidential, you could ask them to call you or tell them you will call it later. You could also leave your number. When you're done with the conversation, appreciate the caller for his or her time and bid goodbye. So you could say thank you, goodbye. Now let us look at the receiver. So once you receive that call, respond to the greetings and identify yourself. For instance, good morning, this is Hope School. Good afternoon, this is Akili Mingi, secondary school. After the response and identification, offer assistance. You don't need to be asked for assistance. Offer assistance. For instance, this is Hope School. How may I help you? If the person the caller is looking for is not in, offer to take a message. For it, for it, for example, would say, he is not in at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? And please note that uh, when the other person, or when the caller is giving you a message, you need to note it down so that you don't distort the message. When you are done with the conversation, acknowledge the appreciation by the caller. The caller will say, thank
thank you, say welcome, and bid goodbye. Now, for both the caller and the receiver, you should use a courteous language. For instance, may I speak to the secret to the maybe to the principal, please? I would like to kindly allow me. Do you mind? Thank you. I'm afraid I cannot. Both the caller and the receiver should address each other respectfully. You could use uh, words such as madam, thank you sir. And both should observe good listening skills. Good listening skills entails being attentive, should be attentive, avoid distractions. Both should observe turn taking, be objective, and use polite words. Avoid the following in telephone conversation. Being judgmental, dismissive, being rude or using impolite language, or being inattentive. Now, I would like us to go through this short telephone conversation between a receptionist and a caller. As we go through it, try to identify the telephone, uh, the features of telephone etiquette that we have said. So we have the receptionist goes, good afternoon, Soyota Garages Limited. How can I assist you? Please, may I speak to the store's manager? I'm sorry, he is in a meeting. Alright, thank you. May I know your telephone number? Mr. Lokito. Let me see the caller um, leaving their number 0725689144. And at the end, thank you. I shall relay your message as soon as Mr. Kosge comes from the meeting. Now, uh, you, you look at the features, uh, telephone etiquette. We have use of polite words. There is offer of assistance, and we have even the caller leaving a message and as well leaving a telephone number so that when Mr. Kosge comes back, he's given the message and also the number so that he will call back. Now, as I said, uh, I'll give you a task. I want you to take down this task, look at it, and fill in this telephone conversation between Jessica and secretary. Ensure that as you're filling it in, there is uh, the features of telephone etiquette must appear. Use of polite words, offer to assist, and so on and so forth. So this marks the end of our lesson today. Thank you all for listening. Stay safe.